Workout logs can make a big difference in your training. And today I'll be discussing all the magical benefits that they have to offer. Put simply, it's a matter of accountability. That which is measured is usually improved upon. And there are really no excuses when you got the numbers down. So if you got three sets of 10 with 225 on the bench, and then next workout you're like, you know what, I'm gonna do two plates again. No, you're not, motherfucker. You're gonna look at that number and improve upon it. Whereas if you simply relied on your memory, it allows you to be a little bit lazy. Or let's say you got 10, 10, 9. Well, now you know next workout, you gotta get 10 on your third set. So what I'm saying is that it's difficult to move backwards when you're constantly writing down your workouts. It gives you something to look forward to. And it's something that's actually being measured. You see it right before your very eyes. And sometimes like your memory's not the best either. So you might think that you're breaking a PR. You might think that you're doing something new, but in reality, you did the same shit months ago. So the key to constantly making progress, especially on a concurrent routine where you're rotating a lot of exercises, is to write stuff down. Now for me, I keep it old school. For you, it might be a little bit different. Maybe you wanna get on an app and write down your stuff like that. Or maybe you're a guy who posts your footage on Instagram, another awesome tool of measuring your progress. Because now you're getting more than just a written expression. You have the visual feedback. So if you think that your squat was a PR, but then you go look at the footage and you notice that you were a little bit above parallel, well, now you know what the truth actually is, okay? And usually too, when you go online, you're gonna acquire some followers, especially on Instagram, and they will also keep you accountable. So if you're constantly posting the same PRs, they're gonna be like, hey man, what's going on here? Like, you don't have to be a celebrity, you don't have to be famous, but people will tell you these things, you know? And it's just, it's not about validation. It's not about other people. It's about yourself. Like I got a buddy, man, who has an Instagram account just for himself. It's his little thing that he has. He goes to the gym, he brings his cell phone with his little tripod and he records his PR. He doesn't worry about the angles or the quality or anything like that. It's just to get the feedback in to pay attention to the form, how the sets were working. So he records the videos, posts them on Instagram for him and nobody else, okay? And then he writes it down too, how he's feeling that day. So this is a very beneficial thing that you could do, guys. And you'll find that when you get into this, it's almost like playing a freaking video game. You look at those numbers and it's like, okay, next time I'm gonna beat these fucking PRs. I'm gonna crush this. My one rep max was 405. Oh yeah, I'm getting 415. And it's like, when you have the numbers in front of your face, there's no excuse to move backwards anymore. Because what I'm seeing, especially in the online fitness community, is guys are using the same weights for years on end. They're never pushing themselves. And I think in many cases, it has to do with the fact that they're just winging it. And they're not, like they don't have a plan, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel that when you have all your PRs written down for a variety of different exercises and weights and all that, it just, it makes it easier to break those records. And a great example that I talked about years ago was the PR table by John Fong. Revolutionary, man. I called it auto-regulation 2.0. Just brilliant stuff. And I can provide a link in the description if you're interested, but it's essentially an Excel document that highlights all the different exercises with the sets and the reps, and you basically write down those PRs. So then you go in the gym, right? You see what the number is, and you, you try to find a little blank spot or something that you know you can improve upon, and you go and get those PRs. Like, this is really an excellent way of monitoring your gains. And when you're constantly playing this game of, all right, I'm gonna one-up this number, it really does make a difference in the long term. It's, it's, and it doesn't have to be crazy either. It could be adding a rep to your exercise. That could be quite significant as an advanced lifter. So what I'm telling you guys is to log your stuff because memory is not always the best way to go. And even if we discount the fact that, yeah, many times you guys have good memory, it's still a great idea to log it because it really does make you accountable. It's quite literally a game that you're playing with yourself and you're constantly trying to battle these numbers until you reach the ultimate level of strength, okay? Oh, and sometimes too, you may notice that you're plateauing, right? Whereas in the past you were doing amazing. So now you look back at those old workouts and you see what the missing link was. You see which exercises were working the best for you at that given time frame, and the sets and reps and the volume and intensity parameters. Like I'm saying guys, memory is not always the best indicator. You may think you're doing something right in the moment, but then long term you look back, you're like, fuck, I made some errors. So workout logs correct all of these issues. I can go back from a long time ago and say, okay, when I was doing a lot of jam presses, when I was doing a lot of band presses, when I was doing a lot of slingshot chains, these particular workouts, these particular exercises, that's what made me strong. It constantly refines your game. You're pinpointing that which is most effective for you 
And that's when you really get an amazing plan going on, especially on a concurrent routine, okay? Because if you log it for long enough, okay, and you write down how you're feeling, you write down those PRs, it's like some days you're doing better than others. And then you could really refine what's going on here. And ultimately, that's what this is about, okay? Experimenting. And I find that logging what you're doing really does get improved upon over time. So yeah, you can be one of these instant guys. You don't have to track, okay? But I'm just saying this is another effective tool in the toolbox. Once you actually start doing this, you'll realize that there's many freaking benefits. So start logging your stuff, man. You could create an Instagram account, do little snippets. It could be a little notebook. It could be your app. Whatever works for you, man. So give me feedback down below. Are some of you guys already doing this? Let me know, and I'll see you all next time.